हरे कृष्णा प्रॉब्लम्स दैट कांट बी सॉल्व नीड टू बी डिजॉल्व समटाइम्स इफ से वॉटर वॉटर इज फ्लोइंग अलॉन्ग अ पर्टिकुलर वे एंड देर इज अ डैम और दर इज अ बिग स्टोन दैट इज ब्लॉकिंग द फ्लो ऑफ द वॉटर द वॉटर मे स्टॉप फ्लोइंग बट इफ द वॉटर कीप्स फ्लोइंग 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 इट इवेंचुअली वी रोड द स्टोन एंड द वॉटर विल फ्लो ऑन so similarly in our life sometimes we face unsolvable problems now we may have a incurable health condition we may be caught in an incompatible relationship which which from which we can't get out of or whatever may be the situation we may be in a place where the weather is hostile and nothing can be done about it or we may be in a financially financial bind from which there is no quick way out now in all these situations we need to know that uh, trying to solve the problem often makes us problem conscious and the more we think about the problem the more the problem becomes the the more the problem consumes our consciousness it occupies our consciousness it blocks the flow of our conscious energy this is water is flowing and some a stone may block the flow of water similarly the flow of our consciousness gets blocked when we become problem conscious we just become sort of mentally paralyzed thinking about the problem and thinking about nothing other than the problem when we thus become mentally paralyzed we become we make ourselves powerless that me now now we may say what can i do about this yes i have a big problem and i and it's just there's no there's no solution for it yes there may not be any uh, we may not be able to solve the problem but we need to dissolve the problem what does dissolve means dissolve means just like if there is a heavy lump of something in <clears throat> heavy lump we may dissolve it with water and it will get out of the way so like that we have to we have to remove its hold on us so that our consciousness can flow onwards you know problems may not uh, problems don't stop the onward flow of life even in the problems are there life goes on and we too need to go on with life and for that purpose we need to dissolve the problems dissolve the problems means prevent the problems from consuming and blocking our consciousness and paralyzing us mentally but rather we find ways to move onwards even in the presence of problems and krishna tells us that when we become krishna conscious then he enables us to go beyond problems machitta sarva durgaani mat prasadat tarishyasi athachetva mahankaran nashroshyasi vinangshasi he says if you become conscious of me then my by, by my grace you will be able to pass over all obstacles so you will be able to pass over all obstacles he says so how will we pass over actually speaking and the problems intimidate us because they seem so big but krishna is a far bigger reality in fact he is the biggest reality and when we become conscious of him when we focus our consciousness on him at that time he enables us to move onwards we understand that okay i am a servant of krishna and i have to serve krishna even if this problem is there still i will try to serve him according to my capacity and with this understanding when we keep serving krishna then over time we start realizing that yes this problem is hold on my consciousness has decreased the more we try to strive to become conscious of krishna the less we become problem conscious the grip of the problem on our consciousness loosens and then we find not only this are we able to move around and move onwards in other areas of our life but even in tackling that problem we are able to find better ways or at least minimizing the problem mitigating its effects and possibly even solving it so what can't be solved needs to be dissolved dissolved means by the power of devotion by fixing our consciousness on krishna we need to dissolve the problems at least its periphery so that our consciousness can move onwards and we can keep doing things uh, keep, keep keep doing constructive things in our life even in the presence of problems by focusing on the higher empowering presence of krishna thank you hey krishna